What's up everybody, my name is Sebastian Bleak and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use an opacity mask to create a cool logo effect. All right, let's switch over to a different artboard where it's just the logo or the text. All right, this is live text and you can do this with pretty much anything. Now, what we have to do is actually build the mask that we're gonna use to mask away portions of this logo. So to do that, in this case, I'm gonna hit the L key to activate the ellipse tool. I'm gonna to do a simple click and drag just to draw it in an ellipse. And then I can rotate it with the same tool, then reposition it. All right, now if you don't get this just right on your first try, don't worry about it because you could always come back and make some changes later. All right, so I have the beginnings of my mask here. If you take a look at the tools panel on the left, down all the way at the bottom, it's showing that I have a white fill activated. All right, so I'm gonna change that value because white is gonna reveal the logo below. So we're not really masking anything away yet. So back over here in the top right, I'm gonna switch over to the swatches panel. Instead of going with white, I'm gonna come over here and choose one of these middle gray values. That way I get some sort of 50% transparency. All right, next I'm gonna hit the X key that's gonna activate the stroke, and I wanna increase that stroke value. So over here in my properties panel, I'm gonna switch over to something around 40 points. The exact value doesn't matter because I'm gonna make some adjustments using the width tool. All right, you could activate the width tool by hitting Shift W. I'll come back over here to my shape, click and drag to kinda of just pinch in one of these edges. In the middle, I'm gonna click and drag outwards to kind of expand the stroke. And then over here on the right, I'm gonna click and drag towards the center to kind of pinch that edge again. All right, so what we have here is a mask that's going to conceal and partially reveal the lower edge of this logo. All right, I'm gonna hit the V key to activate the selection tool, click and drag for a marquee selection over my text and the ellipse I just created. Once I release, I have them both selected. I wanna go into the window menu at the top, scroll through and look for the transparency. Once I click on that, it's gonna bring up my transparency panel and we have access to this button here that says make mask. I'm gonna click on that once and it's gonna mask away a portion of this logo. Now take a look at what's happening here. We're actually clipping away the portion of the logo that goes beyond that ellipse. If I jump back into the transparency panel, turn off clip, now we're able to see the logo in its entirety. All right, so what's happening here? That black stroke that goes through the middle of the text is allowing us to conceal that portion of the logo. Because we have like a middle gray value for the fill, it's actually turning the bottom portion to a transparent value. All right, so I'm gonna back out Let's reposition this, bring it over to the pasteboard just so you can get a better look at this. All right, so we're not creating a white stroke. We're completely concealing that portion of the logo. All right, so I'll undo that, command zero to bring it back to the center of the document. All right, so next what I wanna do is play around with some of these color values, hoping it'll make more sense. Back in the transparency panel, I want to target the mask itself. When I click on that, notice the selection changes. Now we have the ellipse selected, and this is where you can make some more changes to the size or the width, anything like that. All right, what I wanna do is change some of the color values. If you take a look over on the bottom left, we currently have the stroke activated. So I'm gonna bring up my swatches panel, and instead of going with pure black, I'm gonna start going with some lighter values, and every time I choose a new color, Take a look at that stroke that's going through the middle of my text. It's allowing us to see, or it's revealing, more of the logo. All right, so I'm gonna go back to all the way black, and that's gonna completely conceal that portion of the logo. I'm gonna hit X to activate the fill, and instead of going with a 50% gray, I'm gonna start going brighter and brighter. So now it makes it more opaque. So hopefully you'll be able to understand that when you're working with an opacity mask or any mask for that case, it's gonna be using the luminance values to determine what portion should be revealed and what portion should be concealed. 